y'all this is Jenny with Nona Scraps and I'm here today to share with you something I'm extremely excited about. Print Thin Cut has just opened a world of possibilities for me. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print a sentiment on a card to go or a tag to go on the inside of a Christmas card. What this means is that I can print lots of sentiments at one time I can cut them out and then I could adhere them to the multiplicity of cards or whatever that I have waiting for some sort of a greeting. I have opened a shape from the basic shapes that are free in the Cricut design space and I've brought it in. I've sized it already to the size that I need for the inside of this particular Christmas card. Now I'm going to do a little bit of manipulation just because I want it different. I am going to, the shadow layer or the backing of this is turned off, so I'm going to unhide the shadow layer and then I'm going to ungroup the two of them. I'm now going to drag, I've got my shadow layer and I've got my top layer and they're separate and that's exactly what I want. I'm going to be adding the sentiment to this top layer. The first thing I want to do is I want to turn it to white. I have discovered that white is a translucent color. In other words, I can see through it. Anything that I put on top of this, the white won't show, the, the figure, the printing will show. So now I'm going to add text and I'm going to write, have a happy, nah, sorry about that, let's go. Merry Christmas from our house to yours. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go to the edit screen, center it, and I think I like that. And I think I like it that color red. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to select all of my type go back to my layers menu and I'm going to flatten the type. Give it a minute and what that does this is the mat for the, the lettering I don't want it, it is hidden we will leave it hidden. You can see that my blocked out sentiment is now turned into a print and cut type or object. I guess it's a better way of putting it. So now I'm going to size it down to fit into the card and if I need to do anything to it after you flatten it, it's, you can't. It's the way it is and I'm okay with that. So I'm going to leave it very much like that. That gives me a place to sign. That gives me a nice little sentiment. Now I'm going to select both the backing the white backing and the lettering and I am going to flatten them together. Now I want you to look over here. What I've got is my lettering that's still or my lettering mat that's still turned off or hidden. I have my print and cut white with the red. I can see it. It's not hidden. And I have this black square. I am going to print that black square, not print it, but cut it out of red cardstock to coordinate with the front of my card. So I'm going to, and I'm going to do this at my printer, probably on white. I can tell you I have tried, I thought this would work on any color, and I tried a fluorescent green. The um, electric eye really didn't like the fluorescent color. I believe it just could not read the contrast between the registration marks and the background. So I would highly recommend keeping this sort of technique to a light color. Let's go ahead and let's print. I'll hit on C for Cricut and don't have my Cricut turned on. It's okay. That's my baby here. <laughs> 